Hello everybody, I hope you're doing marvelously well. Hope you're staying safe, happy, and above all, healthy. So we have a review here and a giveaway. Thank you ever so much to Mojave. So you're gonna watch me try this mic out for the first time. Um, I was interested in working with these guys and reviewing the mic because of the association. You know, over the years, so many great pieces of equipment were designed out of necessity. They were designed and manufactured by people like Trident Studios, who invented, of course, the very famous Trident console. And that was the engineers there demanding something extra from a console. So they came up with the A-series, the A-range, I should say, console, which is one of the most famous consoles. Well, these microphones came from a very similar world. They were, of course, John Jennings and David Royer, who brought the very first microphone to Dusty Wakeman, who is an incredible engineer and bass player and producer and mixer. And Dusty, for many, many years, had a very famous studio, I think from about 1980 to only a few years ago, in LA called Mad Dog Studios. And he made tons of incredible records, probably most famously Lucinda Williams. Amazing sounding records. So, world-class engineer, owns world-class studio, gets involved with a microphone company right at their inception. And now he's the president of the company. So, of course I wanted to hear the microphone. Why the heck wouldn't I want to be? When somebody I admire is involved in microphone design, then I'm gonna check it out. So, this is, this is it. It's the first time I've ever tried it out. Um, this is the 201 FET. So, it's the same design, essentially, as their more expensive tube microphones, but of course, or valve, for those of you in the UK, but of course it's a FET version. And those of you that know, obviously, the difference between like a FET 47 and a tube 47 will know they share a lot of the same characteristics. Now, it comes in a nice case, but this, of course, the 201 is very unique. I've heard lots of stories um, about how, what characteristics they share, but you know what? We're gonna find out for ourselves. So, first of all, it's really substantial. It weighs a lot, it's not cheap. So I like that. They're pretty good looking microphones, to be quite frank. Also, if you do end up buying one of these, keep the plastic bag. Keep it, because then when you're not using it, you can literally just put it over the top and keep the dust out of it. Okay, so very substantial uh, microphone. It is a fixed polar pattern, presumably in cardioid, which we're gonna use 99% of the time. And I'm gonna record a song using it. So I'm gonna sing into it. Yes, you're gonna get to hear my bad vocals. Um, nice cradle. Again, substantial, well-made. Um, that's it. So very, very straightforward. Obviously it takes Phantom. It's a high quality microphone, but it does, I suppose, only is a big word for $799, but it's affordable for a substantial, well-made microphone. And well, let's see what it sounds like, but from everybody I know who uses them, they absolutely love these mics. So we will find out for ourselves. So we've got the MA201 FET on a stand. I'm going to move it around a little bit and listen to it. Now, for this part, it's quite a lot of picking. Uh, it's gonna be some strumming and some single lead lines. So I'll probably go with my favorite position down on the body here. This is my um, harmony, but it's been completely rebuilt by Scott Baxendale. So it's quite a remarkably good sounding guitar. The strings are a little old, so it's not overly bright, but that's exactly what I want, quite frankly. Um, if I'm doing a super pop track, then I'll go for that more sort of brand new -y, sparkly sound, but this is not what we're doing here. So this is essentially where I'd have it. So just adjust it on the body here. So it's facing down the body here. I love it. Let's try it. I really like it already. So what we have here is my trusty, incredibly cheap Nashville tuning or high strung, depending on how you want to talk about it. Now this guitar, was being thrown out, and I think the uh, one or two, definitely one, maybe two, machine heads were missing. Bought those at Guitar Center for just a few bucks and uh, put this thing back together. So it's essentially two sets of electric guitar strings. Well, 
It's kind of confusing. What it is, is like, imagine you had the E, A, G, D. So the E, A, G, D. So it'd be like a nine, an 11, a 16, and a 22, for instance. But then it's repeated again with a nine and 11 on the top here. So nine, 11, nine, 11, 16, 22. Why do we do that? Because we take these four strings and tune them an octave higher. So they are the high strings of a 12 string guitar, hence high strum. It was first introduced to me by Don Smith in October of 1995, and he called it the Nashville tuning. For my voice, it's super responsive. It's really good. It's just like, uh, uh, uh. Now, we're filming and recording this in the actual control room so we can lean over and touch things and do stuff and everything. This is not the ideal situation. I can hear a fan going on, I can hear lights, I can hear all kinds of stuff. So when you're downloading these tracks, be a bit forgiving of the background, but the reality is, is like, this mic sounds great on my voice and I'm not a singer, so I'm loving this. This is really good. All right, one more from the top. We're gonna do two takes and we're gonna comp them together. So you'll have a comp of the two takes. So I'm gonna add some tambourine here and also kick drum. And of course, a little bit of electric guitar and some bass. We're gonna build this up gradually. This is a very fun song to cover, an absolute masterpiece. Obviously, those of you that know your classical music will know this is actually very heavily based on air on the G string by Bach. We skip the light fandango Turn cartwheels cross the floor I was feeling kind of seasick The crowd called out for more The room was humming harder As the ceiling flew away When we called out for another drink The waiter brought a tray And so it was the mayor As the miller told his tale Then a face at first just ghostly Turned a wider shade of There was no reason And the truth is plain to see But I wandered through my playing cards I would not let her be One of sixteen vestal virgins We were leaving for the coast And although my eyes were open They may have well been closed
Then a face at first just ghostly Turned a wider shade of everybody I hope you enjoyed that that was a lot of fun to do a cover of such an incredible song as Why a Shade of Pale I have to say I'm really really can I say really five times impressed with this mic it sounds like really classy download the multi-tracks for yourself there's a link down there you can enter to win the mic of course but download the multi-tracks and hear what I'm hearing if you don't hear it on the wonders of YouTube on the algorithm but it's I don't you know, I don't want to use all the cliches. The cliches would be fat and warm, you know, warm sounding. But it is. It sounds very classy and classic. It doesn't have that, dare I say, kind of cheap fizziness on the top. It sounds really smooth. It's really, really a beautiful sounding mic. I've used the Mojave once or twice in a room mic where I've been in studios where we've thrown up a modern room mic, and I've always been impressed, but I've never done what we just did, which is basically put it everywhere, guitar, bass, acoustic, you know, some drum stuff, tambourines, vocals, everything. It really does work well in all situations. So thank you ever so much, Mojave, for letting us try this out, and also, most importantly, letting us give one away. So don't forget to enter to win, have a marvelous time recording and mixing, and uh, leave us a bunch of comments and questions below. Don't forget also to download the multi-tracks as well, so you can hear the mic for yourself. Mm -hmm.